You're watching the Runner Report Show on Fan Hub TF. I'm Joshua Potts. He's Aaron Potts. And we're here to give you running news presented for and by the culture. And it's World Championships. Yes, sir. Week. The time is here. This Made Friday, it. the World Championships are kicking off in Eugene, Oregon. Finally. It's, it's time. Really, man. We've been building up to this the whole season. Y'all been with us every week hearing our takes, hearing our recaps. So no way to no way to send off the end of the season with what? Our favorite game, Joshua. Ball starts, bro. This is when I give Aaron some of my hottest takes that I got. And we're going to be talking about all world championships theme. And he's going to be saying if they're a false start. A false start basically means that they're whack. They're too soon. I don't know what this dude is talking about. Then if it's not a false start, that just basically means it's valid. So, Aaron, you ready? Let's get into it, bro. It's going to be a hot running report show. Yeah, I've been ready for this. I don't know if the fans ready, though. We got some takes that y'all need to hear. Hey, first one that you guys really need to hear. I feel like after I seen this man run out USA's in that 400, I was like, wait, Aaron. And then, and then plus, um, plus, let me put this out there too. Steven Gardner is out of the 400 meters. He hasn't lost a 400 meter race, I believe, since like 2017. He's been won all the major championships. But this guy right here, I'm saying it now, Michael Norman, like this is his coronation. He's going to win world championships, but that's not my take, Aaron. I need to know. Michael Norman will break the world record at Worlds in the 400 meters. Is that a false start? That's happening. That is happening. Jeez. You know what's surprising about this take? We haven't heard anybody really talking about Michael Norman this year. I feel like he ain't given that love in the media. And you know what? I, I got to say, I don't think that's a false start. I think that is valid. I think that is a great point. And I think he can break the world record. Every time I've interviewed Michael Norman this year, I always ask him, you know, I'm like, yo, man, so the world is in Eugene. How does that make you feel? Like you yeah. feel more comfortable? He always just says, I have great history there. Let's run through his history, Joshua. And in 2016, 46 2 as, as a high schooler, you know what I'm saying? 17, yeah. 44 97, then 2018. We know what happened at what happened at NCAA's that year, bro. Broke the NCAA record, 43-6-1. 43-6-1. And then 21, 4407. And now this year, he's been going crazy. He's ran 43 two times already. 43-5. He's looked the smoothest he's had ever since high school. And I think when he tells me that he has good history there, I think he, I think that he's hinting back to NCAA's in 2018. I think that he's oh, going yeah. for a, a record, bro. A world record. No, most definitely. I think that has to be because uh, when he ran that 43-4-5 back at the Mountain Sag Relays in uh in 2017, like that in 2018, my bad. Like that was a really big no in 20 2019, my bad. 2019. When he did that in 2019, that was a really big deal. After that, he was immediately world record watch. Michael Norman is breaking 43. But then 2019 didn't have the best race at Doha, dropped out. And then 2018, he didn't, didn't, uh, then in 20, then that, that, that same year in 2019, he didn't win the USA's as well. Like he was up and down the entire time since then. People, I feel like people have lost hope and what he can really do for the 400. But now being Eugene, him running so well this year, this dude's in peak shape. He's eight and one since 2019 at Eugene in the 400 meters. Like, that world record, I think this is it's time. It's his coronation. It's his coronation at USA's, bro. And I think people, Champions. like you said, like we, we, we talked about this a little bit off camera. Like he was on world record watch in 2018 and he's had some disappointing world championships and Olympics, right? Yeah. But he is, we can't forget, he is a freak athlete. He is that guy. You know what I'm saying? And that dude loves to lift weights. He loves to get big. And I think he's, I think he's ready to move on down, but he's gonna mm -hmm. get that world record first. Yeah. And I think Eugene, Oregon, USA, we're gonna say this a lot, Hayward Magic, that's when it's gonna happen, bro. And then he's gonna be like Fred Curley, running the one, running the two. Hey, I can see it. I can yeah. see it. 
And speaking of those first talks of Hayward Magic, Aaron, we've kind of seen that all year, but definitely NCAAs, we've seen a lot of Hayward Magic. Some of the greatest athletes in the world competed at NCAAs at the collegiate ranks here in the US at Hayward Field. And they got to experience that Hayward Magic. Well, a lot of those folks, they're back, Aaron. Anna Hall, Randolph Ross, Champion Allison, Jasmine Moore, Talitha Diggs, Julian Alfred, Melissa Jefferson, Elijah Godwin, Joseph Mbule, all these people, all the amateur are back for the world championships. Courtney Wayman. And that had us thinking at least five college athletes will medal at the world championships. Is that a false start? In my opinion, I don't think that's a false start, bro. Like you look at the world rankings, Abby Steiner, number two in the world. She getting a medal, right? Uh, I think, I think Anna Hall gonna get a, get a, get a medal too. You know what I'm saying? If we, we count in relays, right? We count in relays, then <laughs> Randolph Ross gonna get a medal. Uh, uh, Talitha, Talitha, Talitha Diggs gonna get a medal. I think she's gonna get a medal in the four, to be honest. Um, and Champion Allison, that's another medal. A lot of things do gotta go right. I mean, the relays, that's that guarantee with the four by one and the four by four that you can see those college athletes getting those medals but the point is from this i think we're going to see college college athletes didn't perform well randolph ross you know didn't get out of the first round i believe in the olympics but they have to travel to tokyo they're in eugene where they've been at all year they don't after a whole college season they don't got to go out of the country that's that's tough so i, I think this is going to be the year of the college athlete doing really great things especially with with Abby Steiner, bro. It's, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be super, super interesting for the college athletes because this season has been long, but not as long as like in 2019 when it was in Doha. You know what I mean? Like they had to compete in NCAAs and go all the way and compete in, uh, in September or was it October? September or October for the world championships. You know what I mean? And definitely to be in their backyard. It's going to be hard though. Five? Five is a lot, but like definitely like Trevor Bassett, Anna Hall, Abby Steiner, possibly too. Like to get that medal can definitely happen. I saw Trevor Bassett, like that dude, I think can definitely get that D2 top three. Product. If, D2 if Karsten product. Warholm isn't, isn't completely healthy and everything like that, yeah, we're going to see how it really goes. But mentioning Abby Steiner, we've been talking about Abby Steiner a lot for the past couple of weeks, but I think that's just definitely what it is. And what I'm thinking from what Abby Steiner and how much talk we've been talking about from the rumors with Puma and just the conversation the entire year, like her and Favor Ophelia and everything else, like 2022 World Championships is about to be the Abby Steiner show. Is that a false start? We just talked about, you know, like what if happens if Michael Norman breaks the world record? You know, I mean, does it become his show? You know, you know, what happens if Fred Curley gets gold in the one, the two? Is it his show? But for some reason, Abby Steiner, like you said, when you think about it, a lot of people are going to be like, no, that's not her show. But it's been, has it not been her show the whole year? Is that, yes. has that All not right. been the most talked about athlete this whole year? You know what I mean? I, th I think she might have been talked about more than Shakari, low key. Like, low key. I don't know about that, bro. Shakari <laughs> wasn't running and people were talking about her. I don't know about that one. Second most, second most though, for sure. No, I do not think that's a false start. I think it is already her show, man. And I think if she wins the 200, it really is. She definitely has to, she definitely has to medal. There'll be a lot of talk if she doesn't medal, but honestly, I think she has to medal. Unless she, if she doesn't medal, it's, it's, this is a false start. But if she medals, I think we definitely gonna be hearing a lot, a lot about her. Well, I think it's all just about just getting to the final because she gets to the final and she has one of the fastest qualifying times and people like the NBC production, they're going to be centered around Abby Steiner and Jenner Prandini. And I'm going to be that person that's going to have people in the comments like, don't bring race into this. But like, bro, like I'm, I'm going to be real with it. Like, I'm just going to be 100 because that's that's just what we are. We also have a podcast called Two Black Runners. So you feel me? Like what Jenner Prandini and Abby Steiner are in this position, it's, it's phenomenal to just see like how this is happening right now like not the same like it's it's crazy there's 15 women in the u.s that have broken 22 seconds all of those women are black besides abby steiner and jenna prandini and they are the number one and number two u.s girls u.s u.s women representing in the 200 right now that is insane that conversation 
at NBC talking about Abby Steiner and just how people are getting outraged that she's in the middle between Sharika Jackson and Elaine Thompson. Like people are ready to start riots because of this. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you having her? Like for one, it's a great marketing ploy. And I think for two, I'm pretty sure they were lined up in alphabetical order as well. So like, it doesn't really matter, but like either way, like she is the star in this situation and she will definitely be most talked about. And like I said last week, Abby, keep on doing you because you have handled that well all year and I still perform great to be honest i mean abby's number two in the world you know what i mean she's gone crazy you know she's gone crazy this entire year i mean the only reason she don't have the american record because it's the world record you know what i mean but you, you can't deny you can't deny her greatness so exactly it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be exciting to see her up against the jamaicans and yeah it's gonna be a there's gonna be a lot of talk this is for sure, for sure. Then la another false start that I got for you, Aaron, I want to know. Actually, I'm just going to say it. Aaron made this one. Aaron made this one, and I have to say it, bro. The U.S. Distance Squad will right. bring home five medals. We're talking like 800 and up. Is that yeah. going to happen? Let me tell yeah. you. In 2019, the men had one, Donovan Brazier, and the women had three, Raven, Ajay, and Emma. In 2021, the, at the Olympics, the men had one in Paul Chalimo. Then the women had three and a thing, Raven and Courtney. So for the past two major world championships, major championships that we had in the world, like we've gonna come home with four. Can we get five or over? Is that possible in the distance? Is that a false start? I think it's possible, bro. I don't think that's a false start, man. Let me break it down. That's not a false start. Let's start off with the women, okay? Because the women gonna really carry this one. Raven, Ajay, um, what am I, what am I messing up right now? Raven, AJ, and the thing are all getting, they're, they're sweeping. I think they sweeping, bro. We, we getting out the broom. That's three already right there. You know what I mean? And okay. I think okay. on, I, after that three, um, you know who else is going to get a medal? Emma Coburn, you know, upset about what happened at the Olympics was emotional in the mix zone. She's determined, bro. That's four right there. Number five, this is where it gets tough. When we get here, this is where it gets tough. Can Sinclair medal in the 15? I think so. It needs to break out here. I think she can medal. That's that's a, that's a real possibility. Yeah, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. We're going to talk about the 800. It's a little wide open. Bryce Hopple didn't do great at the Olympics. Has been looking great. Been having great positioning in his races. Can he medal in the 800? I think so, bro. And then we got to talk about Bowerman, bro. This is their home stadium, bro. Elise, Grant, Woody. One of them, one of those three. One of those three is walking away with some hardware. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it in their stadium. Someone is getting a medal. Like, we got to really, what you got to understand is this championship is here, bro. We have the advantage. And I really think we're going to see that play out especially in these distances like this is track town usa bro true true I, we get in five distance medal distance medals or more we didn't even go kiara damato i know she didn't think she was gonna be on the team but she stay ready she stay ready she's been balling right so she might get something in the marathon too i'm gonna throw that at you you didn't think that one was coming but i'm telling you we're gonna get five or more it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time starting on Friday, y'all. Let me just say this. Let me say this. For the false starts, it doesn't Cooper mean- Cooper Tier too. My boy, well, shout I, out Cooper I, I, Tier. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say it's a false start, but that doesn't mean I don't think it's not gonna happen. I'm a USA stand. you feel me? I'm, I'm from I'm from red, I don't know if I bleed red, white, and blue, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm a USA, yeah. I'm a, I'm a USA stand. you feel me? You know what I mean? And like, I love Bowerman. I love the distances. I, I think the women 800 are gonna sweep, but to get five or over five, like it's it's a hard thing it's a hard task i will say though grant fisher like i wouldn't be surprised if this man medals in the five or the ten like i really think that's a possibility and like he got fifth in the olympics last year in the 10k he got ninth in the 5k at that time i think he's in prime position this year definitely to get a medal like you said with sinclair she definitely has a 
big chance to get it. Definitely if like Laura Muir isn't running too good. And even with like, a, let's see how well like Safana San kind of is. I, yeah, so Sinclair has the possibility, but she got to still like race against Segei and Faith Kipiegon. I don't know if she can beat those two. Like it's going to be super challenging. And at least like, at least it's nice right now. And I will say like the 5,000 and the 10K, it seems kind of like weak. There's not like a standout star right now. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting though, but over five, I don't know about, over five. we'll see though. If we can get that sweep, you definitely got a chance. I, I don't know. It, I, I, it's too soon for me. It's too soon for me. Right we definitely now. getting the sweep. But speaking of that sweep, we got our false, we got our quick false starts that we're going to go at you quick wrap, rapid fire to wrap up our world championship preview and everything that we're really interested in about that was really going down. But you're speaking of the sweep, 800. We have another one that we've been talking about off camera that we want to bring to y'all to the masses, bro. Aaron, Andre Wilson will win the 800 meter world championship in Eugene, Aaron. Yes, 100%. She broke the code. I know she didn't beat her at USA's and y'all like, bro, that's a thing. We never seen her lose in my life. But don't forget who Andre Wilson is, man. What was 12 that? Time. Like 12 time US champion. She won world indoor title. You know what I mean? And she has... She's up, you know, like our, you, if y'all listen to the podcast, don't get out of line. She's never left. Her time is here. She's due. She's due a gold medal. You know what I mean? And let's, okay, now you want to go talk about times. A thing broke Ajay's American record. A thing, you know, Ajay has ran 155, bro. And these past couple of years since a thing has hit the scene, we've seen Ajay experience, experiment with her race tactics. Sometimes she's in the front, she's in the back. But she's really worked on putting herself in position and moving up that last 150 of the race. So she's doing that for a reason because she's she's trying to play out the position she's going to be in the race. Now, maybe a thing is going to adjust to that, but I think Ajay's experience, her hunger to finally get her goal and, you know, how fast she just already is. Like I said, she's been running great this year as a 155 PR. If anybody could be a thing, it's her. And I think she figured out the code. I think she cracked the code. I think it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. About this, Marcel Jacobs won't medal at the World Championships. Is that a false start? No, that's not a false start, bro. That dude's not meddling, bro. Stop. That man came over here to Oregon early, trying to disrespect us, posting on Instagram, getting out the blocks and stuff. He not beating Fred. He ain't He ain't beating Fred. He ain't beating, uh, what am I saying? Trayvon. Shoot, is he beating Bracey? We barely seen the guy run this year. I don't know. I'm not trying to go in on this man, but we just really haven't seen him race that much this year, bro. Facts. So it's like, is he going to make the final? So to say that he's going to, to say that he won't, won't medal, I don't think that's a false start. That's, I think that's thinking logically. And that's no disrespect. That's no disrespect at all. Someone else right here, former world champion defending his title right now. Also kind of like Marcel has not raced a lot this year, only two races. But he is at one point saying this man's going to break the world record. He's on streak to do that. Donovan Brazier, is Donovan Brazier guaranteed at least a medal at the world championships? Is that a false start? It's, sorry, it's tough to say this, but that's not like, I mean, no, that is a false start. Like, I wouldn't say Brazier is guaranteed a medal. Now, we know the greatness of Brazier, uh, American, American record holder what 142 142. something yeah and like class of the field right when he's when he's not hurt when he's when he's not hurt when he's fit we've only seen him run 146 and 150 outdoors he looked good at usa's but like it'd be hard for me to just say this dude is guaranteed a medal i don't i, I don't know he's another it's crazy to say donovan brazier is a wild card but donovan brazier is a wild card at this wild championships yeah, I'm really interested to see how he looks from the first round. Like, I, yeah, I, I think he definitely, if he's feeling good and he's feeling in shape, people are going to be in trouble, trouble, trouble. Another person that people are definitely shaking in their boots a little bit is this man right here. But honestly, I'm looking at the top 10, Aaron, and I'm not like, of the top 10 in the 1500 right now, I'm like, Jacob Ingerbrickston, he ain't the far going favorite in the to win the 1500 meters. Is that a false start? No, he's a favorite, bro. Really? He beat these guys already. As Abel's Kip saying, that was the guy that I was like, all right, this dude is gonna beat Jacob. He's ran 331. He did that in Kenya in high altitude. They met at, they met at Prefontaine. 
Well, you know what happened? This boy smacked him. You know what I mean? I, I want to say watch out for Sam Tanner, too. That man has been having an amazing season. And I'm just excited True. to see what he's going to do. So I just want to say shout out Sam Tanner. And then also another one we got right here. No woman has ever meddled in the in the triple jump for the U.S. at the World Championships what? ever, ever. Kayla DeComp, Katura Orji Kayo will get Comp. that first medal in the in the triple jump this year, Aaron. Most definitely. Um, she's been jumping great all year. And another person like Bowerman, Bowerman winner, she's been spearheading women's triple jump. And I think this is her time too. She's ranked number two in the world right now, right, be right behind uh, you, Lamar. Definitely has that home field advantage, definitely being in the US. It's gonna be interesting. But this right here, this is probably that most heated rivalry that we're seeing definitely on the US side right now. Noah Lyles versus Arianne Knight and Noah Lyles beating Arianne Knight. And is that a false start, Aaron? Noah Lyles beating Arianne Knight? Nah, bro. A lot of people are bragging with Arion, but I think Arion is exactly what Noah, Noah needed. I think for a moment there, like not saying he's definitely had some bad races, but winning US championships was too becoming too easy for him. You know what I mean? He needed everybody talking about somebody else. This got him motivated. This got him hyped. And I don't think that he's losing this one. I don't think Arion got him yet. Just not yet. The last one that we got right here. I don't really feel like we need this one, but we'll just say, ah, this just makes me mad. USA men are the uh, favorite to win the four, the win the four by 100 meters. Is that a false start? <sighs> no, that's not a false start. I know some of y'all are saying that that's a false start because these dudes never really even get to stick around. But the team that they're bringing as a lot of people that was on the team are the same people that was on the team in 2019. That was the last time they won, right? Yes. So I don't know. Shout out my boy Anson. This dude was being real disrespectful on the live, trying to say that Canada was about to beat a Stop US it. team. Stop <laughs> it. Stop, bro. Stop don't it. be disrespectful like that, bro. Like, if we pull up the top 10 times, like, we definitely got the Christian Coleman, Fred Curley. Bracy and uh, Bramel. Yeah, Bramel. Come on, man. Are you throwing Noah on there? No. There's no or way. Throw Michael Norman on there, bro. I don't care. Throw Grant Just get Holloway. The stick around. Like, Just get the stick around, bro. They, I feel like the men, four by one, they low-key got the most pressure. No cap. Like, that's, a, that's a good argument. They low-key got the most pressure at USA's because they always, something always happened with the US men, the four by one. Now it's on, like, home soil. Like, they going to... They, 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 there may be some sweaty hands out there and somebody holding that stick. And I hope, come on, bro, you better put some chalk on there or something. I don't know. Can I, is that legal? I don't know. All right. I was talking to Christian Coleman about the four by one at Mount Sac. You know, that was in April. So they ready. <laughs> they ready. ready. They've been they thinking, of, everyone think, been thinking about it. So I think we, I think we good. I think we good, man. Captain Coleman going to get it, going to get it done. <laughs> but appreciate you guys tuning in to us at the Running Report Show on Fan Hub TF. Man, it's been a wild journey, a great season. We'll have another running report show next Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll have one. We'll, we'll do it. But yeah, next Wednesday at the World Championships, doing our thing. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. A little bit longer for the World Championships, but we got a big week ahead of us. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll catch y'all next week. Let's get it.